let's talk to Casey in Missouri. Um, hi, Casey. It says here that um, you have evidence that the Bible is accurate. This is exciting. Go for it. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, science hasn't caught up to the Bible yet. Um, I think that, uh, you know, um, definitely uh, before, uh, you know, well, let's start off with this. You know, science did not know that the world was round and was a sphere, but the Bible did. Um, I, I like this uh, sort of a uh, depending uh, case that depends uh, on who, that depends on who you talk to. You realize that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, you're not sure. gonna. Uh, you got to do your own study, but uh, you know, uh, well, there's the, just there's there's Christians that are gonna argue the world looks flat. Yeah, there's Christians that are gonna ar that are gonna argue against you on that. I've talked to many. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Of course, there's there's Christians and uh, there's uh, atheists that are gonna argue. So, I mean, I'm just stating what you know. Sure. Uh, the Bible did say it was as the world was a sphere before science knew that thought it was flat. Uh, science uh, thought that there was a, only a one thousand. <laughs> stars. Hang on, hang on, Casey. I don't. I don't, I'm just. I'm just gonna say I'm not accepting your claim that. The Bible knew before science knew. I don't. I, like, I think that's too vague uh, an assertion because there's not just like one thing that is science. Like the Bible is I, one thing in a sense, and it's the book. But are you really making the claim that, that the first claim that the world was round or spherical was in the Bible? Um, is, is that where this information come came from? Is that because I've not I've not heard that as a claim before, and I'm not convinced it's true, and I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to find some ancient Greeks who um, had some estimate of the radius of the earth, um, who I can't remember off the top of my head. Did, did the world know that, think that the world was flat? When, when you say the world, I mean, like, what if there's one person? What if there's uh, one scientist and they're well, like, you know what, I've worked out the world is round and then everyone else doesn't agree with them. That, like. People thought that so, the world was flat. That's common sense. Some of them. And I know that, correct? Yeah, but Casey, some, Casey, some I don't know that you, Casey, I don't know you're tracking. So, That's are you familiar? Are you? Come on, are, man. Are you okay, let me get to another. One. Well, hold on, Casey. We let's, let's take this point out of point because you wanted to say this. You do realize, like Greek philosophers, other people wrote about this before those claims, before the right? Bible. You do realize, so the, it just on parody of, par well, but by parody of your parody of your. Parody of your reason, like we should believe in the, whatever Greek gods they believed in, right? Or, or if it was a Greek philosopher that was just didn't believe in God, then God doesn't exist, right? Because exactly. they thought of it first, right? It's just I'm trying to understand by parody of your reasoning. The Bible was definitely not the first book to make the claim the world was round. I mean, there were people I reckon hundreds of years before the Bible or before Jesus. Give me an example of one, though, of a example person. Of what? Who, who 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 said that the world was round before the Bible? Can you give me an example? Yeah. Uh, well, I can't give you a specific one, but I can give you the time frame, which would be third century BC. Yeah, I was just gonna have a look and uh, scroll for the. I mean, we could look it, look it up on the. Isaiah was. Huh? Uh, 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 was that third? Well, Isaiah was written in uh, about. Uh, I'm not saying it's the earliest. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you do a Google search, you can you can you can find dates, right? Oh, he's, oh sorry. Are you saying, Casey? Are you saying this is in like the um, the Old Testament written? I, yeah, Old Testament. Correct, Isaiah. It's actually fifth century uh, BC, was, and uh, so and how long yeah. So I did a quick Google search, and you're wrong. So the earliest documents mentioned of this concept date from around the 5th century BC, which, by the way, appears in the writings of Greek philosophers. So do you want to go on to the next point, or do you want to, by parity of reason, accept whatever the Greek philosophers believed because they thought of it first? So you're saying they thought of it first? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and, yeah, and so you have two options. We could just kind of ignore... We can try to salvage it. We can go on to another no, one, no, or no, by par by by parity. Hold on, real fast. fact. Hold on, hold on. By parity of reason, we can just accept whatever they believed in, since they thought of it first. Okay, let let's go back to uh, the Book of Exodus. Which, uh, well, I'm asking I'm asking you a question. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So the options were, we since, since we agree, right? Like, well, I mean, you might not agree, but 
if it's the case. No, we'll, we'll... that this. Hold on, if if it was if it's the case that this stems earlier, right? Then your source, by parity of reasoning, okay. you're saying we should, right? The Bible is true, and science what science is catching up to it. So by the same reason, we should just accept whatever the Greek philosophers had said and what their beliefs what were. What year did you that. say that was again? Can you tell me the year of that? It's just fifth, fifth, fifth century BC. I mean, there's I'm, you'd have to go spend your time to go look at this. We can't spend all this time on the show looking. Obviously, like you no, I just I just like time, to but... be uh, because uh, uh, the Bible it, that uh, Isaiah was in uh, 740 BC. So I let's. So, so which ones am I right or are you right? Well, what's the claim that it's round? Is what I want. Also, is like so. Second, secondly, we've you've uh, brushed on it. You've brushed on a claim. So that I, it's round, I've got the actually, I've got an Isaiah thing here. It says actually, um, like, Isaiah forty twenty two um, is um, it is he who sits above the circle of the earth and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers. So I mean, the earth isn't a circle. Okay. That okay. doesn't say sphere, does it? And there's a little explanation here. I mean, this is on creation.com, so I don't know how much of it I take that um, literally, but they're saying um, it's commonly understood to be the word circle, um, but I guess they're going to try and argue that it translates to sphere. Um, yeah, because look, even the, the idea is going to be if you're going to have to like explain why it should be taken that way especially since the first thing that i said earlier which is that christians aren't gonna some christians aren't gonna agree with you especially when they cite like things like the firmament things like that right sure. so I, I think it's very simple what it says um let's start yeah well, a... hold on hold on hold on but now hold on real fast i have a question about that though because i as a non-believer i'm not and this might be pedantic but as a non-believer i'm not okay with somebody going yeah, but I started with the fact that my interpretation of the text was the right one because that right there is where I go. There's your problem, right? You you literally started with an interpretation that you think is true. Yeah, but you want to move on without actually providing like the independent no, evidence on why we should take that real, real fast, real fast. So just just bear with me real quick. Let me just get the point out. If it, if it's the case that you have an interpretation, right, X, that it's spherical and someone else has, you know, y that it's flat or let's say not x that it's not spherical right whatever their interpretation is that's different than yours mm -hmm. and you just say you just tell me well it's pretty simple well they're going to say the same exact thing about their interpretation and clearly that has no force against the person that doesn't accept it and so if we're if you're going to sit here and make claims about you know the bible being true and that science is catching up to it if you don't think it's it's a good thing to look into the interpretation and the principle that you employ to know whether or not it actually aligns with what God meant by it, right? If you're going to want to skip over that, it's hard for me to take exactly you seriously. What I said. That's exactly what I said. You have to do your own study is what I'm saying. Like I said, we can go so what's, around, Yeah, around, but I, I get that. So what's water. real fast, what's the independent evidence then? If I do my own studies, clearly I'll come to the independent evidence that goes, independent. this is the right way to look at the Bible. So what is that, right? Just give me that. If you have it, if you have the, if you that say you have the right flat. interpretation, the world and you flat. that the world was not flat like the uh, science believed, uh, that science believed, you know. So very simple, the world wasn't flat. The Bible knew. Hold on, science in the in the um, uh, you know common common man thought that the the world was uh, flat and water, you know. Uh, a lot of people said that, you know, the world uh, sat upon a um, huge elephant. So I'm just saying that the, the Bible knew well, I, I don't, that science didn't raise it. Casey, Casey I, I don't mute often, but I'm going to mute you because I'm asking a pretty specific question. When you interpret it, whether it's the, this verse or other verses, right? We'll stick with this one since this is the claim. You say it's really simple. But you're not actually giving you the only thing you gave me was you go do your own studies and you will come to it that illuminates nothing for me because what what would be illuminating for me right what would actually give me uh confidence in the belief is the independent evidence that you would point that says look this is in a line with what what god meant when he said this verse because i know what you think God meant by the verse, and I know what the other person who holds the, the opposite view, what they think. And when they say, like, the Holy Spirit gave that, you know, told them, well, they're going to use the same thing. So either the Holy Spirit's a liar, 
right? It's telling one of you a lie or it doesn't exist. So we need something independent apart from the claims, right? That actually uh, substantiate whether or not, at least to give me confidence to, to, to believe the claim. So what is that? What is the independent evidence? Not just you think this way or that I should go study. What is the independent evidence that your inter interpretation isn't aligned with what God meant by it? I understand what you're saying. Um, hello? Uh, yeah, so what's, the, what's, the, end of, what's the independent okay. evidence? Independence, I don't have an independent evidence at the, point, at the moment. I, I apologize. Uh, so all I have is uh, I think I apologize, Casey. The reason why the think, reason why that's kind of important is because when you see a sentence saying, "He who sits above the circle of the earth," you knowing that the world is a sphere, will be like, "Oh, circle! That's basically a sphere. That must be the Bible making the the claim that the the earth is a sphere, and that's really exciting." But if you didn't know that and you saw that. I think most people would be like, oh, the earth is a circle. That's that's the claim here. Or they might even think, oh, they're just, you know, like using the word circle, just kind of like a catch-all and it's just like sits above the earth and it's not necessarily a claim that the world is a is a 2D plane. Um, and and that that's kind of, you know, a point that we raise about a lot of the um, understanding from the Bible is everything that you read in the Bible comes through your, you know, filtered through your knowledge that you already have. Um, I and, and I think that's the most likely explanation of for why you think he who sits above the circle of the earth reads like the claim the the world is a sphere. I I just am not convinced that anyone reading that I know it's been translated several times, which um, is a whole other kettle of fish uh, when it comes to problems with the Bible. But it like why why would why would anyone anyone who didn't know the world as a sphere why would anyone read he sits above the circle of the earth think oh they are teaching me the world as a sphere okay your your argument i understand but what give me the evidence that you 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 have a uh, different interpretations of it go ahead it's i mean i've got a different interpretation to me on. that says God's making the strong claim the earth is a circle, and well, God is therefore wrong. Therefore, the Bible is false. Well, well, hold on, I mean, hold that, on. My why is Casey? <laughs> why are you shift? Why are you shifting the burden, Casey? I don't understand what you say. It's simple. You say it's simple. Yeah, but I don't believe in this. You do. It is simple. <laughs> I agree. I, I, I agree. look. I I think I, I believe in this as much as I believe gre green eggs and ham was real, right? So you're the one who's going to have to convince me of it. It doesn't mean I, I go my I leave the conversation and go on not worried because it's not part of my worldview right but if you if if this is part of your worldview and you're aligning things with god's intentions then you need to have some way at least knowing that it's aligned with god's intentions you can't just start with the fact alone that because my senses detect that that's the case this is like what presuppers do with with uh revelation right it was revealed to me just because you think it was revealed to you doesn't mean yahweh was the one doing the revelation right you still have to have something independent to know whether or not it was that Right. I agree. I agree with you. Uh, but, you know, I'm looking, you know, and seeing what it says. Uh, you know, scholars know that it was written 700, you know, around uh, 750 B.C. before any other claim that you uh, gave me. So I'm going with what the scholars uh, in, in, in biblical scholars. I think that, you know, definitely uh, a biblical scholar is going to be a lot uh smarter than a uh geologist you, look i look you, you're you're a casey i'm 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 getting mildly frustrated because i'm getting mildly frustrated because you're what what's going on is you have a claim right you take this interpretation that way so we could just grant you we give you all the toys to play with and be like it dates earlier than you know the, the greek philosophers or something or, or um later right you we could do that that's fine we're now left with the fact of what you're even interpreting is what you say it is, which is a much bigger problem, right? Because um, the whole idea here is whether or not what you believe in this text when you read it aligns with what God intended. I'm, I'm even like I'm granting God exists in this scenario so that we can know how what you read in the Bible aligns with his intentions because we're still left with adjudicating whether or not it's flat or it's not.
based on the word. And there are Christians that will disagree with your interpretation and you're going to disagree with their interpretation. But the only evidence you both have that's on a par is I feel it's this way. Right. That's it. That's all we have. We have nothing independent. And we, and if you in the one, the one step that most people go to, which is, well, the Holy Spirit or God tells me, but God tells them as well. And they believe the opposite. So God's either doesn't exist or is a liar in that case. So how, how do you can go around? So, so we can go around well, 900 times and, uh, but you know, it says what it says. It's very simple. It says, yeah, what it says it's a circle it, and it's wrong because the earth isn't a circle. Okay. Sure. Okay. I mean, yeah. That's simple. That's the most simple reading of that, isn't it? Yeah. You can have a flat circle. Yeah. We're, we're not, we're, we're not going to agree on this, but, uh, can I ask you one more question? Of course, yeah. Uh, what What is your opinion on uh, Einstein's theory of, rel of re relativity? Well, that's a little. That. It's a little broad. What do you, What do you mean? I think it's nice. It's I, nice theory. Do you know what Einstein's theory of relativity is? Yes. What about it? Okay. Well, what's your opinion on it? That doesn't. That, what What's your opinion on the Bible? Right. I need to know. I need a little bit more. What do you, What do you mean? Do I accept it? Do I not? Uh, yeah, what, that's what I said. What is your What is your rebuttal to Einstein's theory of relativity? What do you mean, my rebuttal? I don't even understand. What? Can, are you, uh, Casey, are you asking us? Here? Do we believe it's true or not? Is that Is that what you're asking? Very simple. The Einstein's theory of relativity says yeah. that it's simple to ask a, a question that we understand. That's yeah. what's simple. You yeah, I don't understand the question, Casey. When you say what is your opinion on it, it sounds like what's your opinion on my outfit or something. Like, I mean, I can I can say yes. Cool. What I, I don't know what. What do you mean? You, knew what you, said, you said you knew what it was, so I assume that you you understand the question. So here, let me rephrase the question. Yeah, try I know what a, I know what a photon is too, but you gotta have, like you can't. Go, what do you think about a photon? What about What's them? your opinion on photons, <laughs> Mike? A photon is. I would have. I would have broke the photon down to you, and I would have said what the photon is and what I thought of it. That's what I would have done. That's what, that's yeah. Okay, Casey. We're we're having a, like yeah, a meta I'll, argument I'll, here. I will Make your point. Th I will throw a dart. I'll throw a dart at a dartboard with the lights off. That makes sense. See, that's what I'm saying. Why? Let's 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 uh you know just. Keep it simple. Casey, Let's... I'm interested. Okay. Come on, come on. What, what what are you asking us about um, general relativity? Okay. Do, well... do we believe in it? Is that what you're asking? Very simple. That's what I was saying. Okay. Go ahead. Do you believe in uh, Einstein? One of, one of the smartest men in the world said that there was creation, that the Big Bang Theory... No, Casey. You know what I think? I think that Casey. What I what I look. What I think is that. Nope. What I I disagree with it. I think that actually the the Bible details that the Earth was flat, and I want your to, you to actually do the task of adjudicating what was said earlier, but and not go on something that has nothing to do with the topic. But look, I'm not. Yeah, Einstein was wrong about some stuff. That's my position. Like, cool. Him being smart, like he was good at general relativity. He was probably bad at like. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be answering. Geopolitics, I don't know. You because I didn't answer the question. That's why you didn't you didn't uh, know what I was going to answer. You interrupt me every time I'm about to ask you something. You know what I mean? So all right, I'm gonna, we're going to give you one. We're going to give you one. Like just either give the question or we'll move on. Because liars, you atheists are liars, and you, right. and, and you oh Casey, come on. <laughs> Don't project. Don't need to have a tantrum. Yeah, don't, don't We're project. having a good talk. Um, so I feel that the pressure of like independent evidence was something too much to bear. But I think if you reflect <laughs> on the call and you realize the importance of it, instead of projecting about it, um, you'll actually just go, hey, this this affects me because I believe in this stuff. So I'm only hurting myself. So I think about that for a second. It's, like I said earlier in the call, I'm going to move on because none of that stuff is in my worldview and it doesn't bother me. I'm not tethered or anchored by uh, bullshit. So uh, go ahead and project all you want. Um, anyway, I think um, we will move on from uh, KC. Uh, <laughs> I... I, I, I get the frustration sometimes when you, you set up like an argument and you're like, right, it's in my mind, I'm going to make this and they're going to accept it and then they're going to make this other point and they're going to accept it. 
and then I'm going to show them that if they've accepted those, therefore they have to agree with me and it's a slam dunk. And you, you come out confidently with your first little point and someone's like, well, what about this premise? It doesn't make any sense. And they just drill down. You're like, I haven't even got to do my argument. It's so frustrating. Yeah. And then you just be like, no, oh, you're all liars. But like, I don't... At, at this, it's, well, it's fine. Call me a liar if you want. Bring some evidence maybe that I'm a liar and then we can uh, discuss that. But um, like, if you... Um, if you if you aren't prepared to like take on the first premise, uh, then I mean we're not going to get onto the second one, are we? So yeah, I'm well. Yeah, I'm just confused on what what I'm supposed to say. Like, what do you think about general relativity? Like, someone's like, what do you think about cheeseburgers or something? Like, I know how like kind of. Well, but I think that's an that. easy like, question. What's but... your opinion on cheeseburgers? You'd be like, oh, well, they're probably assuming do I like to eat them or like yeah. maybe even you might be like. Are they asking me, do I like them as a work of art? Like, what do they say about? But if you say, like, you know, what do you think about, or what's your opinion on electromagnetism? It's like, um, I, I guess it's it's cool. Like, it, novel it, novel <laughs> predictions of gravitational waves and lens and gravitational lensing. It's like, you know, I don't know what, what do you want specifically. There's a it, lot there, but anyway, yeah. one of the top ten sexiest theories, like. Six. 2022. I like that. I like that. <laughs> you should have like a science magazine top sexiest scientific theories. 